The Guardians have grown stronger among the light. The destruction of the Black Garden's heart was impressive. And to challenge a Hive Prince, brave indeed. But now our Queen welcomes them here to fight alongside the Awoken? Guardians could be quite useful in dealing with these traitorous fallen wolves. Prepare the feed across all open channels. Attention, Guardians. This is Petra Venge of the Awoken Royal Guard. Multiple bounties have been issued on key fallen targets. The Reef is now open to you. What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video we're going to go through what the Queen's Wrath Vendor on the Reef has to offer. Uh, she actually has more stuff to offer than the one we see in the tower. Now this Queen's Wrath Vendor on the Reef comes out later today with the House of Wolves. This is footage I recorded about three weeks back when I was invited out to play the House of Wolves by Bungie. Uh, getting straight into the video, she has six wanted bounties, three of which we already know of and three completely new ones. Now the first one is Wanted Drevis Wolf Baroness. Hunt Drevis Wolf Baroness near the Cosmic Jones Forgotten Shore. This will reward you 4,500 X experience and 250 Queen's Wrath reputation. The next one she has is Wanted Beltric the Veiled. Hunt Beltric the Veiled in Ember Caves on Venus. This will also give you 4,500 experience and 250 rep. Next up we have Wanted Merchant Orbix 11. Hunt Merchant Orbix 11 near the Ishtar Cliffs on Venus. This again giving you 4,500 experience and 250 rep. The next one is Wanted Wolf Scavengers. Hunt the Wanted Wolf Scavengers in the Halls of Wisdom on the Moon. This will give you 3,500 experience and 100 rep. Next one we have is Wanted Queen Breaker Vandals. Hunt the Wanted Queen Breaker Vandals in the Cinders on Venus. This again giving you 3,500 experience and 100 plus rep. Next up we have Wanted Howling Raiders. Hunt the Howling Raiders in the Hall of Whispers on Venus. This giving you 3,500 experience and 100 rep. Now she has two emblems to offer as well, which we are very familiar with. You need to be a Queen's Wrath rank one. I think we know this already. At Queen's Wrath rank two, she has two shaders to offer you, Rose Gold and Crimson Dancer, which we know of as well, which I will showcase to you guys on my Titan as we're here anyway. Crimson Dancing being my one of choice out of these two. Now at a Queen's Wrath rank 3, we have two new shaders and a new ship. Now I recorded this on my Titan, but I have got footage of what these shaders look like on a Hunter and on a Warlock, courtesy of more console and Willis Gaming. Now the first shader is called Palace Victorious, which I absolutely love the look of. It reminds me of a new Monarchy shader, especially the way it looks on a Titan. It really looks pretty badass. The next one we have is called Imogen's Fire, which in my opinion doesn't look as good as the first one, but it's still looking pretty sexy. These will cost you 5,000 Glimmer, and like I said, you need to be a rank 3 with the Queen's Wrath. And then we have this crazy looking ship which you guys may have seen when they live streamed the reef called the Ceres Gallia which looks absolutely incredible. I can't imagine what this would look like flying through orbit. I mean the size of it already, I mean look at the size of it, it don't even fit in the screen, it's that big. Absolutely incredible. But guys that is it, that is what the Queen's Wrath Vendor has to offer on the reef which comes out later today with the House of Wolves which I'm sure we're all super pumped for. But guys hope you enjoyed the video, do drop a like, I do appreciate the support. Thanks for stopping by as always and peace out until next time. Peace!